Hello dear friends how are you all welcome to sri spoken english this is srinivas this video lesson is 122 friends and dear students i would like to discuss with you today with another interesting video lesson before that have a glance these words knowingly and knowingly we have been using these words in our day to day english conversation isn't it yes what do we call them can you identify them yes they are called modal verbs you are absolutely right yes let's get started without wasting any time friends i'm sure this video lesson will give you a bit of confidence to develop your fluency in english so let us get started before that let me give you a bit of depth over the auxiliary verbs in english grammar auxiliary verbs also known as helping verbs they are 24 in number these 24 auxiliary verbs can be classified in five categories the first one b forms they are is am are was were the second classification is do forms they are do does did the third classification have forms they are three in number have has had and models the fourth classification is models they are 10 in number they are called will would shall should can could may might must ought to the fifth classification of course it is semi modals they are three need dare use it to so friends among these 24 helping verbs we can take modals or simply 13 among the 24 auxiliary verbs modals and semi modals Uh, both are called modal verbs in english what are modal verbs modal auxiliaries are special auxiliary verbs that expresses the degree of certainty of the action in a sentence particularly the modal verbs help other verbs to express meaning It is important to note that modal verbs have no meaning by themselves. It gives support to the other verbs in a sentence. So let me give you another clear definition and examples what are the types and modal verbs. These are the types of modal verbs and which type of modal verbs can express a different types especially ability ability expresses by the modal verbs can could examples rohit can speak five languages another example shweta could swim when she was 4 years friends by these two examples in the first example we can find the ability of rohit because he can speak five languages so it shows the ability of Ro- rohit and the second example also shweta could swim when she was 4 years in a early age she was able to swim so that these two examples refers 
the ability of the subjects so can could refers the ability and next permission politeness friends in the second row can may could would these four are refers permission and politeness example can i use your mobile for a minute may i come in could you please help me would you like to take a cup of tea so see friends can may these two expresses permission whenever we have to ask permission we have to use the modal verbs can and may in the same time could would refers the politeness it can gives more politeness in your language for example could you please help me in this regard another example would you like to take a cup of tea likewise we can use such modal verbs next yes we can move to the some other modal verbs should and ought to these two modal verbs can refer advice advice example should and ought to you should meet your doctor twice in a year it is obviously a suggestion or advice to your friends or relatives have another example you ought to meditation you ought to do meditation daily so it's a kind of advice to your next obligation must have to these modal verbs refers obligation obligation means it's our duty example you must respect your country it's our obligation and next you have to attend the meeting one more obligation so by these two modal verbs must and have to we can use obligation next possibility possibility well these three modal verbs might may could and can these four modal verbs refers possibility in english grammar so in our day to day english definitely these modal verbs give you a bit of confidence to develop your english let's have some more examples with possibility it looks nice but it must it might be very expensive it looks nice but it might be very expensive it's a possibility it's a assumption by someone right another example with may it may rain this evening it's absolutely possibility it's assumption by someone right it's a expectation it may yeah it may occur or not so friends by this table you can understand very easily the modal verbs and all the types ability permission advises and obligation possibility well the same we can understand with another beautiful picture these the same modal verbs can express a different type of functions right can may must shall will ought to need be have to would should to use it to so friends have a brief look here and you can understand everything by looking this chart chart so friends thank you very much if you like my effort please hit the like button if haven't you subscribe our channel please subscribe and forward these important videos to all your students and children so i'm here to give you all kind of spoken english videos as well as grammar videos so thank you very much and catch you later with another interesting video